Some of these wrestling fans that will be watching this will agree with me, and some won't. How much we're at now? You're going to want to work out 24-7. Oh yeah, I came to Vegas to work out. Good reason. I work out. <laughs> I work out. Not. Not. No. Did not come here to work out. I, I get a little exercise done in the morning, but... No, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're fine. Man. My primary focus is not... You look fabulous, man. Uh, thank you, Tom, but I didn't ask. <laughs> I'm just saying you don't need to work out. I'm playing. Um, well, sort of. What was I going to say? Uh... You ever watch, did you ever watch the, um, Who Was America? Borat stuff? Oh, Sasha Baron Cohen. You know, I never got into that. It was funny, though. How about Borat? You ever see Borat? Yeah, but I'm just, I don't find him overly, I don't know. I think he's a jackass, don't get me wrong. He's, he's politically like he's correct. Oh, the phone's gonna take a bump. I don't like his political views, but the, the Who Was America shit is... on the sand and that's all the lyrics I know who sings that I've seen you on the beach and I've seen you on TV now you know why I am not a singer um, Duran Duran oh really okay yeah feels good with the air conditioner Yes. It is hot out. You don't realize how hot it is warm out there until you get into an air conditioning car. Honestly, the, the, when it get at night, it, it, it turns into an oven. What, Vegas? Because you expect it to cool off and it doesn't cool off. It's, it's like this all night? Pretty it's much. It, it, cool, it cools off at like 4 in the morning, 4 or 5 in the morning. What, what does it get down to? It'll get in the 70s. So people, how is the, Vegas was a ghost town when COVID hit, right? Did it really wreck the economy here? I mean, like everywhere else? Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, but it's picked back up now, right? It's picking up. And was it? Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Yeah, with another wave or something. Uh -huh. Not a wave, man. Another con. Another con. That's what I meant. <laughs> whatever. Five G virus. I don't know. Whatever. Um, what uh, now? The new stadium, the, the Raiders. Did they have their first season last year? Last year. Isn't that a horrible way to start and open up a empty, seat? Yeah, empty mm -hmm. seats. Nobody in the stadium. But this year will be different. Yeah, it's supposed to be full. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, the Garth Brooks concert with like seventy-five thousand people. People are just starving for entertainment and just live events. I mean, the UFC. They were Dana did a great job with uh, pulling all these shows that had no people. And it was kind of, it was like watching the Ultimate Fighter show when they would fight with, you just hear their coaches and their team, odd members yelling, coaching and giving instructions in the fight. It's a lot quieter, but man, having a loud live crowd is just, it's just night and day, man. There's nothing compares. Pro wrestling, same thing. Um, it, that, that's a that's a spectacle that was built on, you have to have a crowd. It's all about crowd reaction. Absolutely. You know, Responding. playing. Creating, creating, you know, telling a story. In fact, feeding off emotion, yeah, creating emotion. It's crazy they did, they did a WrestleMania with no. Did they do two WrestleManias with no crowd? I think so. Yeah, it's crazy. And I feel bad for the people who got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. That there was no. That's even has you know usually has crowd at an event. There's yeah. thousands of people in a building. No, no one there. You're just talking in an empty arena. That's just. I would have wanted to say, hey, how about we just wait a couple of years before you induct me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Kudos to those who, you know, went along with it. Yeah, absolutely. Gronkowski, that's what he did. Oh, he, was, I can't. he was on that shit. I'm not a fan of him as a, I think he's a moron, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I don't think he's funny. I know you guys probably like him. Uh, but he's he's actually but I was I was pulling for him in the Super Bowl. I was actually a fan of him Him and Brady yeah. I thought that was cool to see that duo that dynamic To go to a completely different team and win another Super Bowl. I thought that was great. 
So I was I, I became a fan for him in football, but wrestling and just the goofy shit that he does, I'm just not a fan. I don't I just don't find I just I legitimately just don't find him funny. Well, I think it looks, it looks like a goof, well, big it, goof. It looked very fake. It looked nah, like totally man. staged. Well, he didn't wrestle, did he? He just hosted the. Yeah. It came out like a clown in a suit. Yeah, it looked like a goof. Right, exactly. He is a goof. He's a big goof. In my humble opinion, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with being a big goof. No, I mean. I played a goof role in WWE, running in milk trucks and walls, <laughs> like an idiot. It wasn't my call though. But you, you, but you did a better job. You know, you actually. Well, I was a real trained pro wrestler, you know. <laughs> this guy, you know, a lot of these people come over because they have a big name, and they're great athletes. And they're they're some are top of the line in their fields, you know. But but he's not. He's not. A it, it, there's a you know there's a thing. There's a lot of elements to pro wrestling too. It's not just. Okay, so I'm sorry. It's not a bodybuilding contest. I everyone has, to, and and you need to have different body types and shapes and sizes and looks or whatever, because it'd be boring if everyone was built the same, right? You got to have giants. Um, you got to have jacked up dudes. You got to have fat dudes. You got to have in between. You know what I mean? Smaller, <laughs> smaller. Right. You got to have a whole variety of it. But there, there is a physical and <laughs> optical element that's important and I think it's that's really been lacking well yeah you, you know when you walk through when when Rick Rude walked through the curtain I believed back then that he kicked my ass and stole my girlfriend I don't get that from people today no. it's like they're guys trying to be tight tough guys and maybe they are tough maybe they're you know and some of them are but I'm just saying it's just the, the whole business the dynamic has changed like everything it's just not the same man from 20 years ago when I was in it. Right. And not to shit on today's product or, or the, you know, the, the guys today, guys and girls. I give them all the respect and credit in the world. I mean, they're living their dream. They're going after what I did years ago, right? Nothing wrong with that. But it's just, there's an element that's changed. It's storytelling, selling, believability. Um, there's also a poise and a ring savvy when someone is a ring general and they, they, they take and they walk out like the way they walk, the way they look, the way they point, the way like there's nonverbal communication and an expression that just captivates your attention. I don't get that from people today, the talent, no. you know? I think so it's not just about the moves. Oh, so and so can do all these great moves and, you know, scientific or acrobatic moves. It's not Circus LA, by the way, it's professional wrestling. It's. I just think that art's been lost, you know? It's a different era, it's a different generation, and, you know, I guess... It's the, possible, I, it's possible that the, that the uh, wrestlers are rushed through the uh, process now. They don't They don't learn their career. Well, I think so. I think it's part of the problem. They're trying to find the next John Cena, The Rock, trying to find this, the next big superstar, like Dana White is with the UFC. I think with Conor, you know, Conor's great for business, but when you look at his last... Few, he hasn't. He's won maybe one fight in the last five, six fights, including the boxing match against Floyd. Yeah, he's made multi millions. He's successful. Give him all the credit in the world. He's entertaining, but I think he crosses the line a little bit with his. It's a marketing ploy. He's playing a bit of a gimmick, but I think uh, this last fight with Poirier. I mean, here's the thing. By choice, he chose not to stay active, and you see the results, right? Yeah. Now. He has no choice. He's going to have to heal from that injury. If he does, will he ever come back and be the same? Now, can you imagine how hard it will be to come back from an injury like that? Exactly. I don't... I, but he's still... I still see him. I pay to see him. He's an attraction. So, But he's just not... He may be top 10, top 15 now. He's not the man, right? No. He was for a while. He doesn't make or break the UFC like he did. I don't, th I don't think so, no. Oh, there's Rio. Now I get that song in my mind. Which one? Rio by Brandon Duran. <laughs> it's a pretty big hotel, huh? It is. You know, some of these wrestling fans that will be watching this will agree with me, and some won't. Quite frankly, if you don't agree with me, I'll just sick the twins on you. <laughs> and give you the bicep.
I give you something else like the finger. <laughs> you notice I'm using my ring finger? Yeah. Politically correct. Yeah, politically correct. But the reel looks big for here, man. It does look big, man. This is where they play all the poker tournaments. You know, like oh, the they do? World Series poker. Yeah, it's usually the reel. Now, this is officially not part of the strip. Yeah, it's a little bit off the strip. No, it's not part of the strip, though, officially. It's, no. It's off the strip, right? Yes. Yeah. But, it, but, but it's not that far. For the longest time, they supposedly had the best buffet. That they still have, buff they still have a buffet here now? They have the Carnival World Buffet. Everyone always says that's the that's Where's it at? Vegas. It's, in, it's, in, it's in Rio. Oh, I see. And Caesar's Palace is right already there, already right? Right, you already ate. Oh, yeah, I know. You had enough to eat then. <laughs> Caesar's Palace right here. Yeah. That's part of the strip, right? Yeah, that is, yeah. That's on, that's on the... And then what's this? Is this the, the Bellagio? Yeah, Bellagio's next to Caesar's, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, they're it's saying it's not part close. of the... They're not it's saying so part of the strip, close. but it's so... It's like right here. Yeah, it's so close. In a suburb. Yeah. I've lived in Dallas for almost 20 years. Were you wrestling when you were living in Dallas? No, I was in Tampa. Oh, Tampa. Yeah. 2002 is when I got my release and pursued my chiropractic career. I was dating a gal at the time that lived in Dallas, and Dallas had one of the best chiropractic schools. I thought. Well, I won't say it was the best. It was one of the higher regarded schools anyway um, in the country. So I, I just moved to Dallas. I wanted to change. I had just been released by WWE. I had been always deep down wanted to, I always questioned myself about, you know, being a chiropractor because it's something that I thought about in undergrad. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity. I was in my early thirties. I'm like, you know what, let's just, let's just do it. How long did it take you to finish your chiropractic school? Well, I had to go back. I had an undergrad degree from Boise State, a four-year degree, a B.S., a bullshit degree <laughs> in uh, so, so what was it? Uh, social. I don't know what freaking what my degree was. My degree was in. Um, <laughs> what's this guy doing? I don't know what this guy's doing. Um, in the public relations and um, video productions was one of my little emphases. Okay. Try saying that ten times. Emphasis is. <laughs> is that even a word? I just make up a word. But um see you're you're rude in the store, but now you're being Mr. Nice Guy. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Um It took me it was a four year program. it's like a medical program, man. Um mm -hmm. very compared to Southwest Medical School. Southwestern, I believe. There was a comparison chart showed that it was very equal, except for they spent three times as much, you know, credit hours in pharmacology. Uh -huh. They prescribe drugs, medication. We don't. We spent, but we spent three times more in anatomy because we heal from the inside out, right? Yes. So we need to know the body thoroughly. So uh, I got a four-year program done in three years. It was a, oh, I was taking like 32 credit hours a semester. They're trimesters. But can you believe that? Like a full-time college like a minimum is 12 hours 12 credit hours and caught like a, you know a four year university right yeah mm -hmm. picture tripling that you know that's, pretty much yeah that's impressive I don't know how I got through how it how old were you when you did that I was in my early, early 32 30 to 33 33 when I started I needed to go back to school um, it was like a little community type college for nine months to get like there's some prerequisites I didn't have like my sciences like physics and chemistries okay. that I had to get uh, done before I had to get that done before I could get accepted to Parker but I had all my majority of my credit hours I had more than enough you know with my undergrad so can you guess I guess yeah, once can we go up to the word over here yeah. my bags were heavy enough as they were now it's really fucking heavy with those yeah. waters so I got my workout just walking around the airports with a bag on. I, I walked quite a bit. All right, we're here at the Rio. And she dances in the sand. 